Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys a brand new 2022 album review. And today we're going to be talking about the new album from the Almighty Immolation entitled Acts of God, which is out now through Nuclear Blast Records. Now, Immolation, I definitely don't need to talk much about them. I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably you know about them. Um, been around since the mid to late 80s. Uh, part of the big death metal scene from New York, along with like bands like Incantation, Mortician, and Suffocation, as well as one of the best in the death metal genre. Um, originally, they were kind of like formed after a demise of some of the previous band called Rigor Mortis, uh, which was formed by, of course, uh, Andrew Sackowitz, their Dave Wilkinson, and Rob Vigna, who's the guitarist from Immolation. And then they did some demos, and then they then Ross Dolan came into the band, and then they changed their name to Immolation, and then They've been putting out their albums since th th their classic debut album, which came out in 1991, Dawn of Possession, which is probably the, the, one of the best death metal classics. I pretty much put it up there with like Tomb of the Mutilated or Butchered at Birth or even Once Upon the Cross. I think it's just classic. Um, and this is the band's 11th full-length album, and this follows up their previous album, which came out in 2017, Atonement. So does Actor Gods live up or exceed what Atonement has? I think it definitely has. Uh, this this album has like 15 tracks and runs for almost an hour. And I thought they, they definitely feel like they've done a lot. But I feel like the little nitpicky thing is I wish they kind of had had like with all the 15 tracks they could have like added like little interludes and stuff. Well, I mean it has like two small like a minute and a half like intro stuff. But I kind of wish they would have added a little bit more to like have like just the constant death metal. But I mean it's death metal. It's not so but I feel like they could have like had a little bit of variety in there. But not to say that this album is bad by any means. It's definitely good structure wise and music wise. Um, let's just talk about like the vocals like Ross Dolan's vocals uh, he just sounds really great and the way that Ross just c goes in just so ooh, fucking heavy I just I don't even know how he does it um the guitar work on this album is tight Robert Vigna and Alex Books come up with some really great guitar or riffs and just the riffing on this album is great and just the soloing is great the bass on this album is a pretty audible. I think Ross definitely stepped it up. And the drumming from Steve Shalati, it really is just uh, in your face. So without further ado, let's dive into this album track by track. Now starting things off is Abandoned, which is a little short little intro piece. It has a kind of like, I don't know, it feels like it's just building for it anticipation which then leads into the next song called an act of god now an act of god is all you need to know about immolation's take on death metal in four minutes has an aggressive black blast main chorus riff leading into like a great verse riff with some blackened doom overtones and then rob vigno is not really just comes up with some great riffs and there's a will pitch pinch, pinch harmonic at the tail of like the standard death metal tremolo pick riff and there's like a diminished chord there which never just fail then pretty much elevates the immolation to heights up above um and then we move on to the age of no light has a very trudging mid section which builds an eerie two guitar break which overlapping solos pointing the way of like a suitable dismal outro riff and it pretty much shows that a little over 30 years after they debuted they pretty much focus on a an at atmosphere as aggression uh, next song on the album is called noose of thorns now this is bookended by a slower brooding material but just picks up into more of the blackened riffage and some seriously catchy hooks in there um, Shed of Light, nah, not Shed of Light, Shed the Light is up next, and it's just powerful and heavy from the start, and has a lot of power, and it stays really consistent throughout, and it brings in sort of like the melody in the riffs and in the chorus, which gives it kind of like different moments that blend seamlessly, and the solos really just match really well with the lyrics. Um, next song on the album is called Blooded. Ugh, just a pretty gnarly song. The same thing with Overtures of the Wicked. I think Blooded and Overtures are just fucking amazing. Um, and then we go into Immoral Stain. Now, Immoral Stain leads you into sort of like a false sense of security with a quiet, brooding intro before leading into just a punch in the face. He's... Uh, next up is Incineration Procession. Now, it begins with sort of like the most basic of Rip. Yes, but then it just 
I don't know, it, it, the way that the band members lay their individual parts and then the rival at the song's ferocious peak, it just feels like it's really well earned. And then we get into Broken Prey. Now, Broken Prey has a really filthy group passage that features Ross spelling out some lines, which brings us to our last contradiction. And the an immolation just tackles like a target is worn out as organized religion without their seriousness or intelligence ever coming into question. And that's largely due to Ross's great as a vocalist and he doesn't have to like growl and scream to like similar to like corpse grinder from cannibal corpse or go to the brutal death level of gut rolls but he's pretty much stays largely within a limited range of finding success throughout that mastery of vocal cadence that he is known for um next up is derelict of spirit now this in my opinion is one of the album's top highlights it holds on to tension until the chorus unloads in a moment of melody and conviction uh, when Halos Burn now is another standout track that pretty much changes speeds. It keeps you on your toes and the band sort of like goes through their signature brutality in different like intervals. And it's kind of like writing one of those, I don't know, it's just a really interesting song. And then Let the Darkness In, really freaking sick song. And then we get to another their song called And the Flame Sweat, which is just a little intro piece which I think is really great to lead to the final song on the album called Apostle, which is actually the first single release from Acts of Gods. Now, this pretty much demonstrates the seller production in of the hands of, like, Paul or Rufsino and Zach Oren. And this type of music isn't easily to ma easy to mix and master in a way that gives all the instruments sound and space. Hey, Spy, I just love what the production has done here. And this one is one of the best-sounding records today. Now, overall, Acts of Gods by Immolation, pretty good album, long-awaited follow-up to Atonement, five years since we heard any new out music from Immolation. So if I had to give this album a score, I'm going to give Acts of Gods by Immolation a solid 8.5 out of 10. So, yep, that's my review of the album, guys. Let me know in the comments you guys think about it, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.